I'm Brent Meyer. I'm the noxious weed superintendent for Lancaster County in Nebraska. And we're here in this drainage today with some purple loosestrife to teach you some key characteristics on how to identify this noxious weed. Purple loosestrife became a noxious weed in 2001. One of the things that makes a noxious weed in Nebraska is its ability to rapidly spread and cause either harm to agriculture or our natural resources. This plant is one of the plants that will cause harm to our natural resources. If you've ever been along our Platte River system, you can see purple loosestrife for miles and miles and miles. That's not good for our aquatic species that, that depend on those river systems, the insects or the animals that live in those areas. So that's why it's a noxious weed in Nebraska. So when you're trying to identify purple loosestrife, there's some key characteristics that you're gonna to wanna to look at. One of them is gonna be the little six petaled crinkly flower, uh, purple flowers, and the other one would be the square stem. Um, you're going to want to make sure you know what this plant looks like in the wetland areas and aquatic areas around your property so you don't misidentify with some of the other purple flower plants that are out there such as the verveins uh, or the ironweeds. So here's a good, good shot of what you want to look at on purple loosestrife. When you get to the bottom of the plant you're looking at a pretty wood stem type of plant almost like a tree and then as you move on up you can start looking for that four angled stem and the opposite leaves and then on up into the spiked flowers. So as it gets up to the upper parts of the plant, you're going to see a real four-sided stem. And the leaves are also going to be opposite across from each other on this plant. And that will differ from a lot of the other purple plants out there. Another one of the key characteristics on purple loosestrife are the six crinkly petals. They're almost like a crepe paper type of thing. And they've, they've got a real wrinkly look to it. There's going to be other purple plants in your landscapes, but more of them are uh, solitary or a twin-based flower where they're a cone flower. And they... Uh, flower out of the axis. These will flower completely up this spike which makes it a real popular plant for the landscape when it was sold as an ornamental because you got the purple color for a long period of time. This however is also what makes it so dangerous in the wetland situations because it produces seed for a, over a long period of time. So on your purple loosestrife you're going to want to look at the, the, the little six petaled flowers and it also has a square stem. With those two combinations you should be able to identify this plant. When we're talking control recommendations on purple loosestrife, a lot of what we do is, is chemical in the state. But there is also biological control available for purple loosestrife. Uh, that requires a lot, lot of extra hard work for you to get out, raise the insects, take the insects out into the wild, and to get those onto the purple loosestrife plants. Now, biological control is a great option. However, there couldn't be the drawbacks that we've seen in recent years with floods will wipe out some of your insectaries. Also, some of the pesticides sprayed around the state could take out your insectaries. So you want to know where to put that uh, biological control site so you don't put it in an area that could wash out. Since this plant was originally sold as an ornamental, you might find it in your flower bed. So if you live in a city in, in Nebraska and you want to get rid of this plant, we encourage you to dig the entire plant up and as much as, as much as the root system as possible. And you're going to want to put that in a black plastic bag, seal that up good with tape, and then send that to the landfill. You're also going to want to keep an eye on that spot for years to come because you're not going to get all that root system and this plant's going to want to come back on you. Well, thank you for watching today. I hope you learned some key characteristics on, uh, on identifying purple loosestrife. If you would like more information on this plant and how to identify it, please contact me, Brent Meyer, at Lancaster County Weed Department. Our phone number is 402-441-7817 or just email me at weeds at lancaster.ne.gov. Or if you want to contact your local weed superintendent in Nebraska, just go to the Nebraska Weed Control Association site and click on your county.